Hi, hi everyone. Thank you for joining in with another session of Building Blocks. I'm Judy Brown from the Little Fabric Garden and today I'm going to show you how to make another block. But before I tell you what it is and start to show you how to do it, I, as an old teacher, and I really mean old, uh, I like to review things so I'm just going to show you again the ones that we've already done and that way you can you know, pick and choose if you see anything here that you like then you can uh, contact the library or stop in at the store and I can get you the patterns to do them. So here is what we've already done. Okay, This first one is the disappearing four patch. This one is the disappearing diagonal four patch. This is the disappearing nine patch, and these two are the uh, 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 square and a square with um, that you fold. Okay, so uh, these are patterns that are available, and you can either stop at the library or call the library and pick them up curbside, or you can stop here at the store, and uh, I can end up collect some more for you. So this is what we've done, and what's on the table here is what we're going to do. Okay, here we have on the table all of the pieces that we're going to be using for today's block, which by the way is called the Window Pane Disappearing Nine Patch. That's another one that, you know, it's a mouthful, but uh, it's really a very pretty block and I, I think that you'll like it. So here we have uh, what you're going to need for this block are six one and a half by five piece strips and then you're going to need two one and a half by 16 inch uh, strips and then also you're going to need the nine uh, five inch squares or what I, if you decide you want to use a bigger square you can but then these will also have to be uh, made larger so we're going to do the five inch squares and right now I'm going to move these guys right off to the side and we're going to get started. Now we, of course we can't sew them like this so we're going to put them together like this and if you after I like get them close you're going to see that what I tried to do and you know you can do this too if you decide you want to try to do this I put the lighter ones like on the outside and one in the middle, and I put the darker ones like this. Um, I'm kind of like a balanced person. Everything has to be balanced, and, and I just like the look of it after it gets done better. So um, that's the reason that it's, uh, that it's like this. So anyway, here we have our five inch squares, and this is what we're going to start out with. So what we need to do is we need to take these one and a half by five inch squares and we're going to put them in the middle in between them like this and I'm just going to lay these here and then let's talk about them in a second so we got them laid out like this and then we are going to sew this to this to this to this to this and you're going to have a strip of this um, like right across. So this will be row one, and then this will be row two, this will be row three. And again, when you do this, you're gonna fold it over like that, and then you're gonna sew a quarter of an inch this way. Now, when I do these pieces that are straight, I usually don't pin, but if you're a beginner, the best thing to do is to put some pins in here and then sew the quarter of an inch. And you'll do the same thing over and over. And then after you get the three rows together, then you'll take the longer piece and you will put it in between like this. Now I know it's shorter, but you have to remember that you're going to have quarter inch seams here and that's gonna bring those rows you know, like in so it will definitely match. So that one will go there and then you'll sew this to this, this to this, and then do the same down here. So when you get it together, this is, you know, I mean, it will be sewed and it will look a whole lot better. Okay, so after we sewed them all together, then this is what it's basically going to look like. And you can see, here are the two little strips, and then when you 
put that longer strip in between, as I said, they will, you know, match up pretty well uh, so that this is what, what it will look like. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to cut this. And um, the squares that are the ones in the middle, we're going to cut this in half and we're going to go like this also. We're going to cut it this way, and then we're going to turn and cut it this way. So because this is finished block, is it started out as a five inch block, but now it's four and a half inch block. So to find the center, we are going to measure two and a quarter. So I will find two and a quarter here on my ruler and I will match it up on that seam over here, on this, where the green seam is. We're gonna go right there and then you're gonna cut with your rotary cutter, you're going to cut this way. And um, remember, if you're cutting with a rotary cutter, the best thing to do is to cut away from you. You know, you never wanna to cut towards you. It might slip and, and cut you. So cut away from you. So we're gonna do that and then we are going to do the same thing this way. You're going to get on the two and a quarter, and you're going to line it up right on that, like that green or whatever you're using for your sashing, and you're going to take your rotary cutter, and you're going to cut it that way. So when you're done with it, and you're done with the cutting, you're going to have four pieces, and they are going to, you know, be similar to this. All right, so then, again, this is when the magic comes and this is when the change, the disappearing nine patch, you know, the nine patch disappears and then you're gonna get some other, um, uh, some other blocks. So you can take this block and you can turn it this way and you can turn this one this way, this way or whatever, however you wanna do it. Like this can go that way and this can go this way. You can put this back like that. So then when you do it this way and you sew it together, then you don't have to worry about um, these, these pieces lining up to make a nice straight line because it's supposed to be jacket and it looks, you know, really nice. So then again, you would sew this together. Now there are different, um, different ways that you can do it. And if I do them now, I know I'm really gonna mess it up. So I'm just gonna leave you with this one and then if you decide you want to do this, it's fun to play with it. I can show you um, a picture. Here are some different ways that you can put this, put these together. You know, just move them around to find something that you like. And then when you sew them all together, it's really, really nice because the sashing strips that you put in, the window pane as they call it, um, they're going to show up and it's just going to be all over the place and it's going to be really a cute, uh, a cute block. Okay, so um, this one is not sewed. Uh, I thought I had one that was sewed together, but apparently I don't. But this is what it would look like. And um, this is the way you would make the window pane disappearing nine patch. Uh, I love the window pane look to it. It, it really... Um, sets it off and I, I really like that. So if you like this one, you uh, can either go to the library for curbside to pick up a pattern or you can stop at the store and this is what the pattern will look like. And um, don't forget, we would absolutely love to see your blocks on um, the Facebook page. So any of these that you decide you want to make, if you would put the pictures on Facebook, we would just absolutely love to, uh, to see them. So thanks for watching and hope to see you the next time.